we need to figure out the direction, how to do the direction of the uh, magnetic field, magnetic force. We are going to use a handy tool that we always have with us. Anybody have any ideas what handy tool we're going to use? Hello? Which one? <laughs> no. No, both is not correct. I'm sorry, Pooja? The right hand. Because we're going to use something called the right hand rule to figure out the direction of the magnetic force. There are two major impediments for students using the right hand rule. Who can give me one of the two? Andrew. Not knowing your right from your left. First one is finding your right hand. So find your right hand, hold up your right hand. This is the first major impediment. Anybody remember the second one? It rhymes. Don't be too cool for the right hand rule. As high school students, you tend to be way too cool for the right hand rule. You have to limber up. Stretch out. In order to do the right hand rule, you have to be able to move your body. There will be times when you're trying to do something that looks like this. And it's like, no, no, I will not move my shoulders. My hips are sturdy. I cannot move them. Because that is so, oh so cool. It would be better to just turn your body a little bit and do something like this, maybe. Okay, find a different way to do it. You people. Okay, here we go. The right hand rule. Your fingers, obviously of your right hand, point with the direction of the velocity. Your fingers then curl in the direction of the magnetic field. In general, this is approximately 90 degrees. There are some instances where it is not, and we'll go through exactly, uh, at least one. And then your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic force on a positive charge. If you have a negative charge, it is 180 degrees from the direction that your thumb is pointing. So the right hand rule for a positive charge. We are going to walk our way through a whole bunch of right hand rule examples because you need to know how to be able to do this. In order to do this, you are going to give me answers using your numbers. So if you could please get out your numbers. Please point in the positive y direction. This is false. Yes, I have to point. Negative y. Positive x. Negative x. Number five is going to be out of the board. The symbol we use, point for out of the board, please. Point out of the board toward you is this. This symbol means out of the board. So this dot is out of the board. Number six is an X. An X is into the board, point, into the board. So the X is the symbol for into the board. This is how I learned. It's how I remember it. If it helps you, fine. If it doesn't, fine. It's like an arrow. This is the point, the tip of the arrow coming toward you. Therefore, it's out of the board. These are the feathers of the arrow going into the board, regardless of the fact that a feather has three. That's how I remember, literally. It's silly, but it works. So, we have an example. We have a magnetic field. Class this magnetic field is out of the board, right? We have a bunch of X's with a B next to it. This magnetic field is then out of the board, which is that way. The velocity is to your right. We have a positive charge. The only thing missing is the force, so we're going to figure out the force. We start with our right hand. We take our right hand, we point it in the direction of the velocity. We curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and our thumb 
points in the direction of the magnetic force, which class is? Uh, uh, up, positive y. So we draw F sub B for the direction of the force. That's the direction this positive charge would feel a force in this example. You have all seen a practical example of this basic concept. In fact, you're looking at one right now. This. It has magnets in it. It sends out little charges. And those magnets de determine where those charges are going to go. And it creates pixels on the screen using this basic concept. Let's do another one. So what we're going to do now is you know the right hand rule. I'm going to put it on the board. Once you have figured it out, you give me your answer, please. So if you look, you can see the direction of the magnetic field is out of the board. The velocity is to the right. You get out your right hand. You figure out the direction of the force. Once you have the direction, please show me with your number. Show me. Regardless, I don't care if you get it right or wrong. I just want to figure out what you're doing so we can figure out what you're doing wrong if you're doing something wrong. It's fun. Why we're learning? We're learning with the process. Okay, I see a bunch of twos. I hope that's right. Let us find out. We point our fingers in the direction of the velocity. We curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, which we need to do this in order to do. Therefore, our thumb is going to point down, which is in the negative y direction, or number two. So we would need to do this, the magnetic force. Now, the, magnet, the positive charge has a velocity that's up, and the magnetic field is to your right. Is that a question? No. No, OK, good. It was hard to tell. Once you have your answer, please show me what your answer is so I can um, assess how people are doing. <laughs> um, I see a lot of sixes, a one, a couple of nines. Okay, let's see. A couple of threes as well. So here we go. The velocity is up. The magnetic field is to your right, so we have to curl our fingers to the right, and then your thumb is going to point this way, which is into the board. So one of the issues that I see that people are doing is, like I saw some people trying to do this, which you just you, you want to have the wrist go with you. Just, this is not going to work. Okay? So you've got to kind of keep the whole thing straight, or else you're going to mess things up. So be careful with that. So yes, we had uh, our velocity magnetic field, therefore the force is into the board. So the way we would illustrate that is we would put a dot and a circle and an FB next to it to illustrate that the magnetic force would be into the board. Now we have a velocity which is to your left on a positive charge and the magnetic field is constant and angle down and to your left. By the way, if you don't understand one of these, you just gotta ask. You gotta tell me. Say, comrade, I, I got it. I got seven, I don't know why. I can't see that. Let's say six plus one. Yeah. That doesn't help me. No, I can't do I see a bunch of fives. I have someone who put six plus one, which doesn't help me. I have a six, a couple of ones. Alright, let's see. The velocity is to your left. 
curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, which is going to be this way. Now, this is an example where we're not actually going to turn it 90 degrees because this is not a 90 degree angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. So we're only going to curl it that far and then our thumb points out of the board. Fine. Questions? So we would need to then write again the force would be out of the board as such. Now, we have the magnetic force and the velocity. We do not have the magnetic field. So we are trying to figure out what the direction is of the magnetic field. Bless you. sixes and several twos of five. We'll try to figure out why we have several twos. Okay. Point your fingers in the direction of the velocity. Force. Your thumb is pointing to the left, so you curl your fingers this way, which is into the board. So your fingers are curling into the board, so the direction of the magnetic field is going to be into the board, which is six. So we would need to do this to illustrate the direction of the magnetic field. Someone explain how we got two out of that. I'm not fully understanding how we get in a negative y direction. Yeah, curl your fingers on the way. Right, that's why I say curling your fingers 90 degrees, right? So you've got to be careful. That's why you're curling your fingers about 90 degrees. If you curl 180 degrees, clearly you would get down. Good. Now, the velocity is up, the magnetic field is down. Velocity is up, magnetic field is down. I see threes, fours, sevens, twos. Threes, fours, sevens, twos. All right, good, put them down. So, we point our fingers in the direction of the velocity. We curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, but the issue here is we could curl this way. We could go this way. In fact, we could even go this way because the magnetic field is just kind of straight down and doesn't actually work. Why? Go Well, since the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field is 180 degrees, the sine of 180 is zero, so. Remember, the magnetic field is defined by the fact that a moving charge can, can experience a magnetic force. There are instances where it does not. For example, if the sine of the angle is 180 degrees or the sine of the angle is zero, zero degrees. So we have um, if the theta is zero degrees or the theta is 180 degrees, in other words, if the velocity is either directly in the direction of the magnetic field or opposite the direction of the magnetic field, then there will be no magnetic force. So you have to be careful to watch for that, that one. In this particular case, there is no magnetic force. Here, we have a negative charge, which is moving to your right, and the magnetic field is down.
When you have it, can you see it, please? I can't, there's a reason we have big numbers, because I can't read that. It is like this little pencil drawn number that's like yay big, and also in pencil. I see four, five, six. Four, fives, and sixes. Four, five, and sixes. All right, put them down. Again, right hand watch. Velocities to the right. Curl your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. Your thumb points in the board. Which would lead you to think that the answer is six, which it is not. The answer is five. Why? Mitch. It's a negative charge. It's a negative charge, right? So it's 180 degrees from the direction of your thumb. So be careful to remember that the right hand rule is for a positive charge. If you have a negative charge, that the direction of the force is 180 degrees from the direction of your thumb. So be careful of that one. So in this particular case, the force is out of the board, so we would need to do this to illustrate the magnetic force. 